and gents, welcome to a brand new food vlog of Sasonian Priyam. And for today's video, we have a plate of biryani from Afzal, which is situated in Topshia, Kolkata. The reason why I have written the best biryani in Kolkata is because it is the best biryani according to my experience. It's not like I have eaten biryani from each and every store available out here in Kolkata, but I have had a fair share of experiences out here in the biryani shops. I have tasted biryanis in Kolkata that go for 40 rupees a plate to even a biryani that goes to 300 to 400 rupees a plate. And this plate of biryani from Afzal will cost you 90 rupees. And the salad that you see out here, it will cost you an extra 10 rupees. That's 100 rupees for a plate of biryani and salad combined. Mm. One thing that I'm definitely going to miss about the city of joy that is Kolkata after going back home today is this particular plate of biryani from Afzal. Trust me, if you are in Kolkata, you should definitely give this place a try. Topshia near Picnic Garden, Kolkata. Afzal biryani. It's not a paid promotion or something, it's just that I really like the biryani from the store and more often than not, I have my lunch from that place itself. And do you want to know a very strange thing about this particular vlog that I'm shooting right now? It is the same vlog that I shot yesterday, but because there was some problem in my audio, I have to reshoot it today. And that is the reason why my plate is looking different as well. It's different from the thumbnail. I just didn't want to compromise on either my video or my audio because I'm uploading my vlog after such a long time, after almost like 40 days. So I wanted to give you folks a really good quality one. And for the folks who are watching from outside India and have no idea about what biryani exactly is, this is a Muslim dish which is made by rice, uh, chicken, mutton, whatever you want to use but this particular thing that I have on my plate right now is chicken and strangely in Kolkata, I haven't seen this in other cities okay but in Kolkata whenever you ask for a biryani they give you one potato as well. I am not a very big fan of potato okay but the potato in biryani I don't know why probably it's because I've become habituated to eating like this or something else I don't know. But I kind of like my aloo in my biryani. My personal preference these days. And to bite a green chili while you're having biryani. Oof. Wonderful. And the egg that you see out here. No, you don't get egg with chicken biryani. I boiled this at home itself. Because I wanted to eat an egg. So now let's address the elephant in the room. Many of you folks were wondering where the hell was I? I wasn't making any videos. Whether it be travel, lifestyle, food. I wasn't making any video at all. I was like just lost. The reason being, like most of you folks, I had to belong from a middle class family. And midway, my laptop got spoiled. And to repair the laptop, it's not like my laptop got spoiled today. So I'm going to repair it tomorrow. Or I'm going to buy a new laptop day after tomorrow. No. Things like that don't happen in a middle class family. It takes time. And that is the reason why I couldn't make any vlogs before this. Because even if I shot my vlog, but without a laptop, I couldn't edit the vlogs. Of course, many of you might tell me that, hey, you can edit a vlog from a phone itself. Many people do that. But I have the habit of editing in a laptop and the creative freedom that I get while editing in a laptop, I don't get that in a cell phone. So I'm not accustomed to doing that. And that is the reason why none of you folks watched me on YouTube for over a month. The chicken is so tender, so soft, really nice. If you are from Kolkata, then you should definitely give this place a try. 90 rupees for biryani and 10 rupees for salad, a total of 100 rupees. It's not gonna drain your pocket, but it's gonna give you one experience. One thing that you would like to take from Kolkata, the city of joy. 
you will not regret eating at this particular place it's so good bro it's so good mostly in other mukbang vlogs like my girlfriend likes to call it but i being the boyfriend i like to call it muk and bang okay mostly in other mukbang vlogs what happens is people when they eat something they make this noise keeping their mouths open while chewing but i'm not doing that because ever since i was a small kid i was taught in school and at home itself that chewing with your mouth open is a very bad habit and that is the reason why i'm not doing that in the video itself maybe if i did that you would feel the urge to eat this but i don't think i'm going to change my good habit into a bad just for the sake of one video so i'm really sorry ever since i updated my profile picture on facebook yesterday with me eating the biryani my relatives have been commenting so funny funny comments bro literally i can't even express i can't even explain what all comments did i receive yesterday if you want to check those comments and if you understand nepali that is please head straight towards my description box out there you are going to find the link of my facebook page check the comments out there and if you want to stay updated with my day to day life my regular updates that is you can follow me on instagram my instagram handle is out here and even on my description box and what else today's vlog was just supposed to be a food vlog but we had a little bit of pep talk as well but i think that was very important because i was lost for such a long time and i feel that i needed to give an explanation as to why i was lost so this was entirely about my today's vlog i really hope that you folks enjoyed and until next time this is your brother the vlog from the hills priyam gurung and i will see you very very soon till then take care bye bye and cheers to life thanks so much for watching and this is the end of my kolkata chapter but it's not like i'll never be coming back to this place i'll probably come to this place once again in 2022 and in the years to come as well because once you live in the city of joy you'll always remember this place this place will always have a special place in your heart so thank you i'll see you folks directly in kalimpo ciao biryani is love so before we get back living our normal lives i just wanted a little bit of feedback from you folks would you be rather interested in watching travel videos or lifestyle videos or food vlogs like this or a mixture of all those basically i'm going to do a mixture but according to your preference of a particular genre i'm going to make more videos of that particular genre so feel free to comment your feedback below and do let me know what kind of vlogs do you want to see next